Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see about nav mesh in Unity 3D. So let's start. So this is a basic tutorial level one. So we are going to see how to use a navigation system. So let's start. So before that, let me create one 3D environment with the help of primitive objects using cubes. So let me create some ground, something like this. Okay. Let's save the scene. Game. Try to view the camera, maybe at topmost. Okay, this was okay, I think. So let's start uh, this, name it as drone. So we are going to create similar like maze, maybe. So I am going to create some walls. So that let's create some material so that you can able to see the variation between the ground and the walls so let me create ground mat and then let's change some color and then apply all the material let's start creating one more material called walls Okay, that's great. So we try to make a little bit. Control D and make something about it so that Okay, this was enough I think. So let's name it as walls so that we don't get any confused. So let me name as walls. Okay, this was perfect. So next what we are going to do, we are going to have one ground. So, so we are going to have one character maybe called capsule. So think that this is a player for our game so I'm going to make this player over here and then rename it as player maybe let's try to have one more material for player player mat so try to drag the player mat over here and then just change some color Okay, this was okay. Next, we are going to add one target. So, go to the 3D object. Let's have one cube. This is called target. So, I am going to add that target for the other end. So, try and drop over here. Okay, similarly, let's create one more material called 
dot get mat. So So now everything has been set now. The platform has been made like similar like a mesh, not exactly like a mesh, similarly like mesh. So so let's we want our idea is to we want to move this player to the target. So let's see how can we achieve using a navigation system. Okay. To do a to work with a navigation system, you want to go to the windows and then click on navigation. After that, the navigation window will open. So let me tell you one more time. Go to the window and choose navigation. From here, you can find navigation window. Here, if you see agent area, bake object. So uh, let's select. So maybe this is a wall. I forget to change. Okay, this is wall. So go to the navigation. And we want to define which object is which system will be doing. So let uh, so let's start with ground. So ground is a base. So we are going to make the navmesh agent over the base. So let's make navigation static. Without static, you can't able to have navigation system. So you want to make the object selected as static. So let's make the object static and then choose navigation area as walkable walkable means the object will be able to move with the afford afforded position so that is a trick so go to the bake and then click on bake after that you see the change so if you see the change here the view will set to the blue color this means that navigation has been set now if you clear it will redo to it will back to the original view so if you bake it will turn into blue color if you change to other thing you can able to see that it will be in the form of blue color so if you go away from navigation the color will be back to the normal position so don't worry that whether your navigation system has gone or not it will be remain in same state okay so if you go back to the navigation it will be in uh, in the form of blue color so don't worry about the color so let's start so ground has been set now so these walls are non movable of uh, the object can't able to move over the walls I'm right so what I'm going to do I'm going to choose all the walls and go to the object and click on navigation static and instead of walkable I'm going to select non walkable in the drop down and then go back to the bake and then click on bake after that you can see this the The unity will stop stopped the navigation system on the place where the walls is present. So this is a trick. So after you done the break, break system, the walls will be treated as non-walkable. So let's start with coding. So we want to move the object. So we want to do some coding part. So let's go to the player and we want to make the player should have navmesh agent in order to make the object move okay so let's start on coding create a c -shop script called movable or whatever whatever the script script name it's your choice so drag and drop the script to the player open the script okay so in order to Im implement the navigation system you want to implement one namespace it's called using unity engine dot AI dot AI so it contain an image system so after that you want to have Nav mesh agent. Okay, so let's declare as public Nav mesh agent. So agent is going to sorry, I'm sorry. Nav mesh agent agent. Or you can have now. Okay. 
what are the name is so so let's have the same name over here in update agent dot set set destination to target so in order to get the target you want to have public transform target okay target should have receive only a question so I have added question so after the script has been loaded you can able to drag and drop the target or the script and then the namesh agent namesh agent is our player so drag and drop so let's play and see what's happening so it will start moving to the destination question okay now you can see the object is started moving to the destination question so it will avoid the walls and it will go without touching the walls so this is the tricks using an MS agent without doing any very odd coding you can able to have an MS system predefined by unity everything for you so you can have that uh, or otherwise if you feel like to change the position of a target maybe something like that so it will find the shortest path so now it won't move on right and go over there it will move left since it will find the shortest shortest path and move the uh, and object will traverse over that path so it uh, so it will calculate the shortest distance and it'll reach the destination depending upon the destination it will move either if left or right whatever the maze will be so this is it so in the next tutorial let's see how to use off mesh link with the nav mesh agent okay so stay stay tuned and hit subscribe and we'll see you in the next video bye